Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine, again. And welcome to our kitchen. No cats in the kitchen. What are you doing, Mench? You know what the internet needs? A video of me making overnight oats. So welcome to an episode of Christine is getting old. Uh, Christine is 30. She looks tired. She is tired. And she is referring to herself in the third person. Okay. Today. I've been wanting to make them for a really long time. Uh, yes, this video might be boring, but you know what? You're boring because you clicked on a video of a 30-year-old woman mixing oats in milk for 12 minutes straight. Mm -hmm. But first, tea. So while that's boiling, some of you guys who follow my Snapchat or Instagram stories may have seen me and my overnight oats a lot in the last few months. Honestly, they taste amazing and there's no risk of me burning down the house. You ain't gotta bake shit for a minute. That's right, no cooking, no baking. It's hard to f up. They're so easy, you don't even need parental supervision. In fact, I don't even need Ben's help. We can do this. So you might be asking yourself, what the f are overnight oats? Do you go to bed with them? Do you work all night making them? Is it just oatmeal, but during the nighttime? No, 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 my friend. They are a delicious oat-filled sludge-like mousse texture dessert that you eat for breakfast. It can be pretty healthy. It can also be unhealthy. Depends on how you want to make it. And it's ridiculously easy to make just by mixing dry oats, some milk liquid and some other shit you like all together and then putting it in the fridge, letting it sit overnight and then eating it in the morning. To me, it tastes like dessert, which I will happily eat for breakfast. Tea's ready. Is this what my retirement looks like? <laughs> so today we will be making Bay's favorite overnight oats recipe, banana bread overnight oats. Y'all know Ben loves bananas, so obviously this is his favorite recipe. I <laughs> actually came up with this recipe by myself by accident because we always have bananas in the house. And then I threw a bunch of random ingredients I had lying around the house together and it tasted like banana bread, so that's what I called it. <laughs> First, you're gonna need to get your ingredients. We're going to Whole Foods, because I want the Whole Foods, not half the food. <laughs> seven different types of oats. You don't want those. I don't know what that is. <laughs> These ones are kind of too big. What you need is quick oats. We're gonna do the quick part, but not the cooking. <laughs> Hey, look, it's Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> you ought to be making it with oat milk. You know what? I wouldn't want to overdo it, so. <laughs> okay, we're done. Let's go pay $200. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I will also leave a list of all the ingredients I use in my recipe down below in the video description box, like a true baking channel. <laughs> and now, we begin. First, you're gonna need a Tupperware container to make and store and eat your oats out of. I use this size, it's for like a sandwich. And what we're gonna make today in this will make about four servings, or one if you're really hungry. <laughs> Bananas. We need one banana, but it has to be really ripe. So too green, not ripe enough, and on the verge of death, that's the one. Almost rotten. Like my soul. <laughs> Hold on, tea break. <laughs> You're gonna take one banana, then you're gonna peel it. Then you're gonna say a prayer for the blue-eyed girl. Take a fork and mash the banana right up. I do it directly in the Tupperware so I don't have to dirty any more dishes. <laughs> I never really understood, are overnight oats a hipster thing? Or like a vegan or healthy person thing? An old lady thing? I don't know, I just, I make them and I eat them, so to me, it's a simply thing. <laughs> if your bananas were ripe enough, they should be super easy to mash, just like this, and they look like baby food. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Now that's quality kitchenware. Fun tip, making overnight oats is also a great way to use up some bananas that you weren't gonna eat otherwise, or you could just put them in the freezer, I do that too. All right, next, we're gonna mix the liquid ingredients with the powder ingredients and shake it up. Almond milk, because I am a fancy bitch. You could use regular milk or coconut milk or whatever the f 
milk is out there these days. I think the almond milk works well with the banana bread recipe, but it's up to you. Also, I don't really know if this whole recipe as I do it is gluten-free or vegan. I guess you're gonna have to look at all the individual ingredients and decide if they are. But I know that almond milk doesn't have dairy in it, right? One cup of almond milk. But keep this around in case we gotta make it a little more liquidy at the end. One teaspoon of vanilla extract because it's tasty, that's why. One tablespoon of coconut oil. Fancy MCT oil that's supposed to be good for your brain. This is what makes Ben smart. I take all the credit. So that's one tablespoon. You don't actually need this. It's just some like extra gratuitous health bullshit. But I do find that one tablespoon of this actually helps with the consistency. It makes it more like soft pudding, a little silkier. I like my oats silky smooth, mm, delicious. Now the main ingredient in my oats is protein powder because Ben needs his muscles. <laughs> I've also been putting a lot of protein powder in my oats as well because one day I would like to arm wrestle and beat Ben. So I use this one, it's Vega Coconut Almond. It doesn't actually taste like coconuts at all. Um, it kind of reminds me of bread though, so that's why I like it in this banana bread recipe. Now, most overnight oats with protein powder recipes will call for just one scoop, but if you think about it, if you're making four servings, then you only get a quarter of a scoop of protein powder per serving. And we want more than that, so I add one of these and two of a regular whey protein. No way. <laughs> this flavor is peanut butter marshmallow and it tastes like peanut butter candies. So I add two of these. This might seem like a lot of powder, but personally I find with this much powder, it makes it like nice and thick, like a true banana bread. Some people think protein powder tastes like chalk, but you know what, like I like chalk, so I don't really mind the taste. Now, if you're not one who wants to put protein powder in your oats, cause you're just like, what the f that sounds way too healthy. I don't need that shit. One way to get more powder in your oats is to use something like peanut butter powder. It looks like this. It's just powder, that's peanuts. Or there's also powdered almond butter. You could just use a shitload of this kind of stuff if you don't have protein powder. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of maca powder. This is for what is this for again? It's supposed to make your mood balanced or something. <laughs> but I also find it has a really distinct bread-like taste, so it works for this recipe. <laughs> and lastly, for now, before we mix it all up, we're gonna add a pinch of sea salt. Fancy pink Himalayan sea salt if you wanna be that bitch. So now that you've got all that shit together, you're gonna seal your container. Did I mention that? Make sure you're using a container that you can seal because then you're gonna shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake those old spade Shake those old spade This is how you get your arm workout in. This is why you need the protein for your arms so you can shake the oats. Don't worry if it seems too liquidy right now. We still got a few more steps to go. You know, the idea of me making overnight oats isn't so crazy. I'm already obsessed with tea. I have two cats and I want more. I've tried Aquafit. This water's heavy. I ask people all the time if they've done their homework and I have a golden hair. I will show you my golden hair, I'm not even kidding. Not silver, not gray, but gold. And just one of them. It's like I skipped for the silver and went straight to the gold. All right, now we gotta add one cup of quick oats. And they're not quick because they run away, but they're quick because you don't actually have to cook them. I think that's why they're called quick. I know there's lots of confusing different types of oats. There's like steel cut oats, quick oats, large oats, flake oats. But next time you're in your pantry, just see if your mom has a giant bag of oats lying around that no one has any idea what to do with. And if it has the word quick on it, then you might be able to use it for this. Basically the quick oats are just really small, kind of like this. Good explanation, Christine. You should have a cooking channel. So you need about one cup. What is even an oat? I ought to know this, but I don't. At this point, you can start stirring it in. Mmm, <laughs> looks like swamp food. Just wait, okay? Never judge overnight oats by the night before. <laughs> if you like oatmeal, you'll probably like overnight oats. If you hate oatmeal, you still might like overnight oats because it's cold, so it's like an entirely different experience. Mm -hmm. This tastes excellent, you'll have to trust me. Now what I like to do just to make it a little chunkier is add a splash of the larger oats, just, just a little, optional. 
All of this is optional, actually. <laughs> and then two tablespoons of cold milled brown flax seed because fiber. I think this is the key to making it actually taste like banana bread. So you mix it in and then you're gonna add in the edible hollow glitter. Just kidding, that doesn't exist. See, we're getting a little bit thicker. And lastly, cocoa nib, because who doesn't want some little chunks of chocolate in their banana bread? Now, cocoa nibs are like the healthy version of chocolate chips, so you could also just use chocolate chips. I put two tablespoons of the nibs. Yeah, let's make it three today. Extra chocolate for Bay. Does Ben ever wonder if I'm poisoning him? Cause I totally could. And like he would have no idea. <laughs> and that's it. So obviously I didn't add any sweetener to this just cause Ben and I don't really need it I find, but you can add stevia. If you don't want to add sugar, you can add regular sugar. You can add like agave syrup. Maple syrup is a great addition if you want to sweeten the oats. It has to be 100% real maple syrup though. None of that Aunt Jemima bullshit. <laughs> it's really up to you what you want to substitute. Simply bake logical is an art, not a science. And you mix it all together and watch your chef skills at work. The consistency should be very gloopy like this. If it's too liquidy, then you would add more quick oats or a little bit more of the protein powder or peanut butter powder. And if it's a little too thick, then you could add some more of the almond milk. It's kind of trial and error. Like it won't be this texture tomorrow. Tomorrow it will be way more solid than this. So you kind of have to play with it and decide which consistency you like the best. I like my overnight oats real thick. like. Thick like an Instagram booty. Take a little test taste to make sure you got the general ingredient flavoring profile right. Oh, it's so good. Put it in the fridge. And then you can enjoy it tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. What I eat in a day. To be a model, I just eat oats for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just kidding, eat a balanced diet. Um, but this is great for breakfast. <laughs> Overnight, the oats will solidify into a pretty thick paste-like texture. This is how I prefer it. I've seen some people add like garnishes on top, like fresh bananas or little coconut flakes and whatever. But personally, I just eat them as is because I ain't got any more time in the morning. Ben loves his banana bread oats. Isn't that right, Ben? Should I help you? Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. If you hate mornings, overnight oats will make you happy because you don't have to do anything other than just wake up and put them in your mouth. They're so easy to eat on the go. Ben brings them to work sometimes. I eat them when I get home after work, like just for fun, like instead of making dinner. And of course, there's many variations. You could add some cocoa powder to this recipe that's really good for like chocolate banana bread oats. Mm. My personal favorite overnight oats recipe for myself is chocolate mint cookies and cream oats. It is to die for. It is so much to die for that I can't give you the recipe today. The internet might get too excited. Mint is my favorite green vegetable, so there's that too. There's also so many overnight recipes online. I hear Pinterest is a good place to get oat inspiration. <laughs> what would you do without me? Don't forget to comment down below if you tried my overnight oats, if you're gonna make banana bread oats for your bae or just eat them all yourself. And what other old lady hobbies you see yourself doing when you're 30. I'd love to hear them. Always looking for some good ideas. All right, um, I've been in the kitchen for like half an hour now. I need a time out. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.